everyone, good day, you're welcome back to my channel, Dandy Fashion School, a school of elegance and styles where you're into fashion, designing, and bag making. So today, as usual, I'll be going into the bag making section, and I'll be teaching you how to make a school bag. And I'll be teaching you how to make a school bag. If you check my previous video, I've actually made no school bag with bottom then, yeah. But today I'll be teaching you how to make a school bag without bottom, without bottom, yeah. So now let's get started. Let me show you the kind of school bag I'm talking about. Can you see? So the material and tools we'll be needing, we we'll make use of leather material you can use of any kind of material any material of your choice any material of your choice and then i'll make use of my zip head my zip head this is my zip head i'll make use of my zip cloth yeah you can make use of any kind of zip cloth i'll make use of my belt i'll make use of my adjustable buckle yeah this is my plastic adjustable buckle and then lastly i'll make use of my piping yeah can you see i'll make use of my piping so now let's get started into the cutting and stitching. So the measurement I'll be working, I'll be working with the makers of my length, which is the height of 17 inches, while the width will be 13 inches, including sewing allowance. So then look at the uh, measurement is around length of 16 inches, while the uh, width is of 12 inches. So with the sewing allowance, I'll make it of 17 inches as the length, and then I'll make it of 13 inches as the width. So now let's get started. I let some people actually have difficulties in creating their own size. There's something about measurement. There's something about this bag making of a thing. It doesn't have a constant measurement. I want you to take note of that. It doesn't have a constant measurement. So it all depends. It all borders on your own preference. It depends. And like you can make it of any kind of design as far as what you want or what your customer choose. I get me. So now I'm making it of length of 17 and the width of 13 inches. I can decide to make it of something smaller than that or bigger than that. Are you getting me? So it's all depends on the trend. So now the first thing I'll be doing is to cut out the 17 inches by 13 inches. So I'll make it, I'll be cutting out three pieces, three bodies. The front body, one, the back body, two, and the middle one, which is three. I'll, as time goes on, as we're moving into the cutting and then the stitching, you will understand by the by what I mean by the three body, the second the third board rather. So now I'll make use of I'll be cutting 13, 17 by 13 in three places. Are you getting so before giving it a shape? Can you see it's not a straight shape, it's that a curve? Can you see on all edges, all edges, both the bottom and the and the upper part? So I'll be cutting out 17 by 13 like straight 17 by 13 and then i'll be shaping it on every edges so now let's get started with cutting so this is the material i'll be making use of and then don't forget i said 13 inches will be the width so this is 13 inches this is 13 inches why the length which is the height will be 17 inches so i'll be cutting it out like that so now this is it. This is 17 by 17 by 13 inches. So don't forget I said at the edges you'll be giving it a round a round core. Can you see? Then after cutting the upper part, after giving it the shape, then you place it on the bottom side. So now we've gotten the shape we want. So now we've gotten the shape we want. Don't forget you've been needing three pieces of this. So now I'll be cutting two more extra. I get me. So I'll be cutting two extra more. Now we have our our body so one two three so we have the three bodies so the next thing we'll be doing now is to cut out our front pocket so this is my front pocket 
so the measurement i'll be making for the front pocket is nine inches length of nine inches and the width of eight inches so that's nine by eight so don't forget if you cut nine by eight and then you trim it into any kind of shape you want so now this is my nine by eight inches for the pocket this is nine inches and then this is my eight inches so what i need to do now is to find the middle this is eight inches four inches is the middle so i want to give it a curve don't forget um, the main body the curve is just the edges just the edges but this curve will be coming from the middle to the other part and then to the other part or the down part of this pocket it will be at the edges as well So now we have our shape. Can you see? So the first thing we'll be doing is to fix our pocket. Then before fixing our pocket, we'll be fixing our zip cloth. Our zip, we'll be fixing the zip part of it. And then I'll be fixing my character also. But the first thing I need to do is to find the middle. The middle of the down part. This is the down part, so you notch it and then the zip side so now let's fix the pipe first i will be showing you the the full sewing part because i don't want this video to be more and uh, to be lengthy so i'll be showing you the sewing part but definitely i'll be showing you the step by step definitely now i'm done fixing my piping and then fixing my character so what i just did here is you need to cut out a small piece don't forget i notch the middle of the down part the middle of the down part and then, so you need to put a small piece that's where you, um, your piping will start and that's where your piping will end so and then i pipe it all around and then i fix my character so just make sure your sewing is very 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 neat so just try just try to make your sewing very neat and then the next thing we'll be doing now is to measure it all around to get our zip side so i'll be starting from here So my all round measurement is 20, 26 3 quarter. Can you see? 26 3 quarter. So what I need to do now is to don't forget we have 26 3 quarter. So my zip side now, for me to determine the zip side and the down part of that zip side. So all what I just mean, you might decide to divide it into equal parts. Like you want the zip side to be at probably 13 inches and the other side to be as 13 uh, 13 3 quarter make it 26 and all together so that's what i'll be doing here so now i'll be making the zip side to be 13 inches and then the down part i'll make it to be 13 3 quarter so that zip side which is 13 inches i'll be adding one inch sewing allowance to it making 14 inches and then this 13 3 quarter i'll be adding one inch to it as well making 14 three quarter so after joining it together all what all i'll be having left is that 26 three quarter so can you see it so now let's cut it and then the width of it i'll make use of um what's it called two and a half inches So what I need to do now is to cut out the zip side first. So after fixing the zip side, then what we have left as the width by 14 3 quarter. Are you getting me? So let me fix the zip first. Now I'm done fixing my zip side. So now let's take the measurement of what we have left as the width. Now we have two three quarter. 
and you get that so we have to put the quarter so that's what so the remaining measurement which is the 14 3 quarter we'll be cutting 14 3 quarter by 2 3 quarter now we have our 2 3 quarter we have our 2 3 quarter by 14 3 quarter so what we need to do now is to join both sides and both sides together and then top stitch both sides together and then top stitch as well so the next thing i'll be doing now is this part not the zip side this part i'll be folding half inch all around So now we are done with this. So the next thing we need to do now, so the next thing we need to fix now is to fix this on this. Now I'm done fixing it. What I need to do is to just turn it outside. Turn it out. And you see it actually came out this well. So just make sure your hand is your hand is straight. Let me put it that way. And then, so the next thing we need to do now is to take one, one piece out of the body, uh, out of the three bodies, and then notch the down part and then the upper part, the middle, you notch the middle of the down part, and then the upper part. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix my, my pockets my front pocket so i'll be fixing it at the center are you getting that so you fix it at the center so don't for, don't forget we already so half an inch inside the other part of the zip this is it so it's easier for us to just to put it this way so i'll be sewing it round now i'm done fixing the pocket so the next thing, can you see how neat it is? So the next thing I need to fix now is I'll be cutting my lining also. Yeah, I'll be needing my lining. So I'll be cutting my lining, and then after fixing my lining, I'll be piping it all around. Do you get that? I'll fix my pocket. I'll be fixing my lining at the back, and then I'll be piping it all around. Now I'm done fixing my piping. I'm done piping it all. Can you see? and then the back i'll fix my lining as well so the next thing i need to do now is to measure it all around for the feet and for the what's it called to measure it all around for the zip side so now let me measure it all around okay. so my all around measurements now i have 53 inches so I started from here and I ended here. So I have 53 inches. So what I need to do now is that 53 inches, don't forget any measurement I'm using is not constant. So that 53 inches, you have to decide, do you want the um, the zip side to be much um, longer than the down part? Or do you want it to be equal? Now after measuring this round, we have 53 inches. So. I don't want it to be at the zip side and the bottom side, which is the down part. I don't want it to be equal. So I'll be making 25 inches for the zip part, and then I'll be making 28 inches for the down part, making 53 all together. So what I need to do now is to that 25 inches, I'll be adding one inch so in allowance, making 26. Why the 28? I'll be adding one inch so in allowance, making 29. So I'll be cutting two pieces. I'll be cutting two pieces of the of the zip side. So here yeah, I have two inches, two inches. Then it will be two inches by twenty-six inches. So two inches by twenty-six inches. This is our twenty-six inches. So I'll be fixing my zips. I'll be fixing my zip in between before adding the down part. Of it. Before adding the down part to it. Now I'm done fixing this. Can you see? So the next line to cut now is the down part. So don't forget, we have 28 inches, which is the actual length, but we'll be adding more inches of sewing allowance to it, make it 29. So now we have to measure what you have here. I have 4 inches. So I'll be cutting 29 inches by 4 inches, and I'll be joining it to 
this side and the other side and I'll top stitch. So now I'm done fixing the zip side. Can you see? Then can you see the down part? So don't forget to top stitch. So the next thing I'll be doing now is to fix it on this first body. So let's call it the first body, which is the front body. So I'll be fixing it all around. Now we are done with this part. So the next thing we need to do now is to turn it out. Can you see all the edges came out in this thing? So what you need to what you actually need to look out for is the at the edges. So it needs to come out beautiful. So can you see? So the next thing we need to do now is to fix this on the I'll be placing this on the second body. Don't forget I cut out three bodies, which is the front, the back and the middle. So now I'll be making use of the middle one now. So I'll be taking another piece, uh, another body and I'll be placing it on this, making the second body. Now this is the second body. I won't make use of lining for this. So this is the second body. All, all I need to do is just locate the middle and then I'll notch the middle. So you notch the middle. The middle of the upper part and the down part will be notching. It. So I didn't even really done. I didn't think this is the last stage of the bag. What I need to do is to just. I didn't think this is the last stage of the bag. I'll be fixing it this way. The right side of this man, or this zip side and the right side of this. I'll be fixing it this way and I'll turn it outside. But this is this. This is the uh, this is the middle part. So it is it is it has the other last side of it. So what I need to do now is to place the wrong side of this zip side on the right side of this. I hope I'm communicating. So the wrong side of this zip side on the right side of this second body. So I'll be sewing it all around. Now I'm done fixing this. Can you see? So what I need to do now is to measure it all around. So I'll be measuring it all around to cut my. I'll be starting from where I notch here at the bottom. So what I have here is. Don't forget I started from here where I notch. Can you see where I notch? So what I have here is 53 inches. So this is my 53 inches. So what I'll be doing now is to be dividing it into two parts, which is the zip part and the down part of that zip side. So I won't make it as equal as this is. So I'll be making the upper part, which is the zip side, to be 21 inches, and then the down part to be 32 inches. I hope I'm communicating. So that 21 inches I'll be. So 21 plus 32, we have 53 all together. So 21 inches I'll be adding one inches, so you know, I'll make it 22. And then the down part, which is the 32 inches, I'll be adding one sewing allowance, make it 33 inches. So I'll be cutting. So for the wideness of the zip part, I'll be making I won't be making use of this. I'll be making use of this metal, which is the two side. No, I'll be making use of just one side because the zip will be resting on the material, it will fix on the material, and then the other side to the other side of the material. So now what I need to do now is to measure my two and a half inches. So I'm making two and a half inches of width. And then 22 inches, can you see? And then 22 inches for the length. So I'll be fixing my zip. So I'll be fixing my zip first. So now I'm done with this. So the next thing I need to do now is to cut the down part. Don't forget the down part, it remains 32 inches of it. I'll be adding so in a once, that is 33. So I'll be cutting 33 by 3 inches. What I have here in total is 3 inches. So I'll be cutting 33 by 3 inches and then I will be joining it at the both side here and here and then I will top stitch as well. Now I'm done fixing this. Can you see? 
So the next thing I will be doing now is to fix it to the body. So I will have to find the middle and notch it. So I'll be fixing this right side of the zip on the right side of the body. So I'll be fixing it front. Now I'm done fixing it. Can you see? So I'll turn it out. So the next thing I need to do now, I can't actually say the last thing, but let me just say the next thing I need to do now is to fix the last part, which is the back part, which is the last body. But before I do that, I'll be fixing my undo to the back side, and then I'll be fixing my adjustable buckle to the other to the back side as well, and then I'll be piping and fixing my lining to the back side. So let me show you what I mean. So this last part now, I'm fixing my my undo. This is my undo. So for you to make this kind of undo, all you need to do is to measure. This is the last body. So what I need to do now is to measure what I have here. Don't forget the width is 13 inches. So I don't want it to. I don't want it to get here. I don't want the undo to get to both edges. So I'll be leaving like like one and a half inches on both sides so one and a half inches one and a half inches yeah that's three inches so three inches 13 minus three we have 10 inches so all what i need here now is 10 inches so the length i'll be making use of so i'll make use of 14 inches for the length so let me tell let me show you how to draft it so this is my 14 my 14 by 10 inches so now 14 by 10 so the length is 14 why the width is 10 inches so find the middle of that 10 inches which is 5 inches this is middle this is the middle this, this is 5 inches so now from here can you see the fixing part that this belt is on it so what i need to do now is i'll be measuring two inches So this is my two inches and the width the wideness of the hand this is two inches so i'll be measuring two inches from both sides this is two inches and then this is two inches so that two inches you draw a straight line up two inches So we have two inches all around, two inches, two inches all around. Don't forget this is the center. This is two inches and then this is two inches. So now the center, which is five inches, draw a straight line up. So we have one, two, three, four. We have four, sec four section now, like four different parts. So this is the middle, why this is the side. So what we need to do now is don't forget this and it has curve. So what I need to do now is just create a curve at the edge. You can use your hand. If you don't, you can use, you can improvise definitely if you don't have, if you don't have ammo curve. So this part now, this part, don't forget it has a cuff part. So this is the middle. So all I need to just do is to just give it a curve.
Now let's cut it and see the shape. Let's cut it so that we can see the shape. Uh, So this is what we have now. Can you see the shape? So the next thing we need to do now is I'll make use of this net material. I'll make use of this net material. Can you see? So all I, all I need to do is to just place it on. It's just to place it on top of the net material and then you cut it out. Then after that. I'll be piping it round. Can you see? So I'll be piping it round. Now I'm done with it. Can you see? So the next thing I need to do now is this is my back body. So I'll be coming down by by three and a half inches. You can decide that you want your own to be more. You want your own like probably two inches, one and a half, three. But my mine are coming down by three and a half inches. So it is on that three and a half inches I'll be placing it. This middle part. Don't forget to notch. To notch the middle part. So this center part will be facing the center part of the body. So don't forget I place it on that three and a half inches. And don't forget you'll be leaving one and a half at both sides. On both sides rather. So now I'll be using my belt. I'll be placing my belt on top of it. And I'll be running the stitch. So now I'm done with this. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix my adjustable. Is to fix my uh, plastic adjustable bulb. So I'm fixing one here, one here, and then the other side on the main body. So you can use lighter to seal up the the mouth. So I'll be fixing one here. And then I'll be fixing the other side, the other one. One here. And then one here also. So now I'm done with this. So it's to be adjusted here in case. So the next thing I need to do now is to fix my lining and then pipe it all around. Now I'm done fixing the lining and I'm done piping it. So the next thing I need to do now, or let me say the last thing I need to do now is to the last thing I need to do now is to join the last piece the last body so the right side of this zip side on the right side of the last part then i'll join it all right so now i'm done fixing the last part can you see So the next thing for me to do now is to pipe it round. Don't forget every of your joining you have to pipe it. Every. So I didn't pipe I didn't pipe from the start. So once I'm done with everything now, I will have to pipe it. I will have to pipe every of my joining. So I forgot to put my what's it called undo before joining the last part. So I'll be fixing it now. Alright, what I cut here is what I have here is 11 inches. Length of 11 inches. 
and then width of one and a half inches. So I cut a piece of foam and then line it, and then I'll be piping it round. Can you see? So I'll be piping it round and then uh, the other side. Now I'm done piping both sides and both ends. It is on this last part that will be fixing it. So I'll be sewing it here and then here. Now I'm done fixing it. So the next thing for me is to pipe it round, pipe everything. Hi, you're welcome back. Sorry, my phone went off, so I have to get home to charge my phone just like for the concluded part. So now I've piped my bag. If you can see clearly, you can see I didn't make use of um piping. I didn't make use of belts, yeah. I make use of lining. Can you see? So I make use of my lining. So I'll pipe it round. So the next thing, the last thing we need to do is just for us to turn it outside to check the outcome. So now this is the this is the outcome. So this is the outcome. So now this is the outcome. Can you see the edges? So this is the outcome of the bag. Can you see the side, the side parts, and then can you see the the undo? So you can adjust it here to the size you want. So we've come to the end of the tutorial. Even though this is your first time, can you see how how neat it is? So what you need to be bothered about, like what you need to be conscious about, is the um, at the edges yeah at the edges so the edges need to come out very 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 well can you see the edges can you see can you see the edges of this part so now we've come to the end of today's tutorial even though this is your first time of coming to my channel please click on the subscribe button and then turn up your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime a new video is being posted i haven't even know you've been coming but you've not yet subscribed please please it doesn't cost you a dime just click on the subscribe button and then click on the notification button as well and then if you're an active subscribers <laughs> i appreciate your love thank you so much i don't even know there's probably a correction is addition subtraction i will be very very happy if you can drop it in the comment section so i'm very very grateful thank you for coming back thank you for your time thank you for your for for, for everything i say thank you thank you so much so see you next time bye